Okay, welcome back everyone. And as I know what's coming up here... We want fire resistance really bad. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, well, may as well do the shelter thing. Now, there are different ways to do this fight coming up. One of them is to have um, some more techs with Ayla and Robo that I don't have, sadly. But, uh, I think we'll be okay. This is one of those fights that will cause you to derp around and grind for a while. Because Dalton's here. What does Dalton keep in his pockets? But this is the end, and they will take care of you. <laughs> Come, Golem Twins! Ah, damn it. Because one of them sucked. Now there's two of them. We're actually expected to win this fight. It's okay. We are prepared. As long as they don't do that too many damn times. Son of a bitch! Okay, so... Do there. And... Fire two. And you can do heal. Just do cure two on yourself. Yeah. Now, they're gonna learn light, which we don't have protection against. But, by having Luca go right after Nike, they're gonna copy fire tech, which we're largely immune to. So they can do Iron Orb, and they can do Fire too. That's about it. I'm kind of curious to see where Delta Attack leaves us. Since Fire seems to be the last thing that hits on that. Those are some crappy Fire Attacks, too. Try Delta Storm, see what that does. It might be better off leaving, um... Doing Luminaire and Fire 2, and having Frog, like, Troubleshoot, Heal, things like that. Shadow tech, huh? Well, that's hardly good. Oh, looks like Robo's attack. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Shadow's definitely a bad thing. We don't want them to have that, so let's not do Delta Storm anymore. She can do Hypno Wave. That. The, these guys are actually fairly susceptible to the status effects. Like, uh, Ayla, and Cro Ayla and Robo can put things into stop mode. Um, she can put things to sleep. Like, well, we put one of them to sleep. That's eh, not completely useless. shouldn't be able to take too many of these. Not too many of those at all. Luminaire's awesome. That's why it'd be really nice if Chrono, if Knight, Chrono Knight, whatever, had a more decent magic ability. Then he'd really be able to tear some ass up. Physical attacks are kind of a waste of time on these guys, sadly. That's why it is vitally important that your main character know Luminaire. Son of a bitch. Even your damn verb. That's disgusting! It's like a, a, a Malboro from a Final Fantasy. Might have to do Final Fantasy VII at some point. There's a lot of opportunity for silly voices there. They beat the Golem Twins. All right, this calls for Golem Boss. Get out here, Tubby. Wait, what's this strange force? Could this be Lavos's energy? I've got a bad feeling about this. All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. I've got to go get the Dragon Balls. This is your lucky day. Bye bye. Toodles! See you guys later! 
dealt near such a fruit. Yeah, we should be fine. What's the odds of them doing two boss fights in a row? Hi. This is the Hall of the Mammo Machine. Now's the time to turn back. New. No. Holy crap! New. No. We shan't allow thee to meddle with Lavos Queen. We've made it just in time. It's a pity, but I'll have to turn this machine off. You're... Too late. Help! Shala! What are you doing, Shala? I need your help over here. Nike, use the old man's knife to stop the machine. Quickly, Nike, there's no time! Red knife. Here we go, Mune. Ready, big brother. This is awesome. Oh. I'll be damned. Would you look at the t tis the Masamune? Yep. The MacGuffin sword to defeat the MacGuffin machine. It it's coming. No, stop! The sword alone won't stop it. Rattle, rattle, thunder, letter, boom, boom, boom. Don't worry, on Lavos, man. If you recognize that jingle, you're too old to be watching me. Oh, damn. I don't think we're ready for this. Okay, let's... Okie dokie, then. Back to grinding. Not. I've been waiting for this. Ah, <gasps> stunning reveal! I've been waiting for you, Lavos. I swore long ago that I'd destroy you, no matter the price. It's time to fulfill that vow. Now feel my wrath. What do you think you can do? Hmm. <laughs> The false prophet. You'll be a snack for the great Lavos. Mother, please stop. This power can only end in ruin. And grunting for ten minutes at a time. Get away from there, Shala. The almighty life force of Lavos lives in all of us. You're a part of it. You cannot change me now. Oppose me and I'll destroy you as well. Zap. <laughs> Come, prophet. Feel the power of Lavos. Zap. <laughs> ah, my powers. I won't be beaten by you. I survived the darkness to defeat you, Lavos. Take this. <laughs> Punching. And a stick. What? It, it didn't work? Ah, of course it didn't work, you idiot. Foolish one. Your measly power can't touch Lavos. This is from me to you. You shall enjoy eternal life as part of Lavos. <laughs> kiki kiki kiki. Oh no. His tractor beam attack. Are you alright? At this rate we'll all... Whoa. Magus, thou art mine to defeat. Let's worry about that later, Frog. Shall I? Anything? Please escape. We can't hope to defeat it. So you are Nike. Why don't you do as Shala say? and run away, yelping in terror. Isn't your life precious to you? Uh, gotta save everybody. Take that. What do you hope to do? You challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours? See the power of Lavos and feel his wrath. Oh, damn. E. That's not good. Desist, Nike! Stop! It kind of tingles. I think that means it's working, guys. Oh, I got all melty. Nike? Nike! Snake! Sorry. It had to be done. One of the first times I think they ever killed off the main protagonist. That's ballsy. I 
can't beat him. Like, there was nothing I could do. Arg. We must be planning our escape. Yeah, the palace crumbled.